Some Troy University students know a little more about stars and their life cycles after the lecture held in Math and Science Room 114 on Wednesday. John Weiss, an education specialist from the Marshall Space Flight Center, spoke to all listening ears about everything from our Earth's sun to black holes. Stellar evolution, the life cycle of stars, uh, how they form, what happens to them as they progress through their cycle, and how they end uh, depending on what mass they are. We says the pictures he uses in his presentation are always a showstopper, but he has a very specific hope of what his audience will take away from the lecture. And an understanding at least of the basics, because a, a society that has a better understanding of science has a better chance of making good decisions based on that science. Students attended the lecture for reasons ranging from just for fun to receiving class credit. But Chandler Burleson says that although he will receive 10 bonus points for attending, he grew up with a genuine interest in astronomy. Growing up, my dad, you know, had us out looking at the night sky and a telescope and stuff like that. So generally, I just have some type of interest and that's why I decided to come. But Burleson says the lecture didn't really hit home for him until Weiss began speaking on black holes. So when he brought up black holes and kind of talking about how um, when you reach the event horizon, if you could you know, not turn into energy that you would actually see time speed up and you would see the end of the universe which I thought was you know really cool. We says the most common question he receives typically has nothing to do with his lecture. And it's it's how do astronauts go to the bathroom in space. <laughs> but the most common question relating to the lecture he receives is when is our son going to do something different? Anna Kate Patterson, Troy, Trojan Vision News.